Hey guys, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. My name is Mathis and today I have a review for you guys. I'm reviewing The Sleeping Dictionary by Sujata Messi. Now this book was published in 2013 and this is her first historical fiction novel. Before I give you guys my thoughts on this book, I'm going to give you guys just a brief synopsis of the story. The story takes place in 1930s in Begal and it is centered around this young girl who loses her family to a tsunami. After losing her family she ends up in a boarding school where she becomes a servant and from there she ends up fleeing to another state because she is accused of stealing. Along the way she meets this young lady uh, who takes her to a brothel. From that point on guys the story starts to unfold. Guys, I thought this book was very fascinating. I had no idea that some of the prostitutes in India were called the Sleeping Dictionary. So these prostitutes, guys, are very well dressed. They are very well cultured. Uh, they speak impeccable English. They are beautiful. The main reason why they are called the Sleeping Dictionary is because they help the British soldiers uh, negotiate dealings with dignitaries and he also helped the British uh, men to navigate the streets and so uh, I thought that was very fascinating the writing in this book guys is very good the pacing in this novel reads really quickly and so I did not feel bored at all as I was reading this book N not at all don't get me wrong guys I was a little apprehensive about diving into this book because it was a pretty thick book but uh, I tell you, once you get past the first couple of pages, you are hooked. Now let's talk about the characters. Even though there were a lot of characters in this book, I did not feel discombobulated at all. I mean, I enjoyed every single one of these characters. If you are scared that this novel has tons of characters, don't be afraid at all. The author also placed in a glossary listing all of the characters. She also listed all the Hindi words that's in this novel. However, I did not need the glossary at all, especially when it came to the characters because the way she ran this novel, like I said, is very well done and very well written. I'm pretty sure you're not going to need the glossary as you read this novel. Now, there were some interesting things in this book that I did not know anything about. Like, for example, World War II in India. I have no idea that the Japanese bombed India. That was, or attacked India. I had no idea that actually happened. And what was very interesting about this book is the tension between the British and the Indians. There were a lot of protests, a lot of discrimination. And you see the main character, um, Prom, she gets very dis discriminated against because she's from the lower caste. And so she's not let in in a couple establishments and she couldn't get the job that she wanted. And so you kind of follow her along in this story trying to make something of her life and but it's very challenging for her so I thought that was all interesting so the themes that you get throughout this book guys is oppression imperialism and classism so overall guys I give this book four stars very entertaining read I would recommend this book if you like books like Memorize of a Geisha uh, I highly enjoy Memorize of a Geisha and so uh, if you like that one, you would definitely like this novel. So that is my review of The Sleeping Dictionary. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll talk to y'all later. Alright, bye.